Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another noob cast. This is Blomus bringing you 1v1 here on Zelnaga Caverns. It's like the most baller map of all time. So, hopefully, we can get a good game here between Hashmalu, the Teal Terran, and TSN Branson, the Green Protoss. Looks like a custom game between some friends. This is a diamond level matchup. Looking forward to what we're going to see here and hoping and praying for a good game because this is my third attempt to cast a game tonight. And two unsuccessful attempts will put me in a bad mood. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping that we got a good one here. I am hoping, loosening up my shoulders, trying to get back into the groove because this is new cast ladies and gentlemen we believe there can and there is and there are good exciting educational and fun games that happen at the lower levels and we it is our job it is our calling our uh vocation our purpose and function in the starcraft community to shine a bright light on those games. Hashmalu pumping out a Macarax, which is a um, something you don't see that often anymore. It is a uh, its job is to do exactly what it's doing right now, which is to allow the uh, Protoss scout to come in and see only one barracks. Uh, as it goes about its scouting duties. So he's going to come in here. He's only going to see one barracks. He's going to try and kill that SCV. Perhaps he's going to be successful. No, he's going to get surrounded and drawn off. And uh, Branson able to pull him off. So now, however, we do have more Marines coming out over here. So it looks like we are going to perhaps see some 2 racks pressure from... Hashmalu, Hashmalau, Hashmalu, Hashmalu. I like that better. And it is going to be all Marines all day as Branson is chronoing out some zealotage, uh, perhaps preparing, trying to prepare for the aggression that he senses is coming. I don't know if it's the case and the diamond level, but uh, there's an awful lot of cheese in the gold level. Uh, it's actually not been as bad recently, and here comes the two racks pressure, five marines coming up. Um, guessing we're going to see a bunker get thrown down here by this SCV. Marines are death to zealots. Definitely uh, wise to get out some stalkers if Branson wants to hold this off. Are we going to see the bunker go down? Two zealots and a stalker going out. Oh, going to run right into this. Marines kiting the duty out of these zealots. Another... Oh, I love this. Marines distracting the stalker so these guys can take out his zealots. Now the stalker able to knock down... Uh, well, not knock down these marines. They can come in here and probably kill off the stalker. But a sentry coming out. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that play. Now that there's already marines in the base, they're just going to come and kill this pylon, which is going to supply block Branson. Going to be in big trouble. Here comes the probes out to help. And instead of focusing down... Uh-oh. More units, more Marines coming up. Very nice. Sniping that last, that single Marine. And the gateway tech is almost finished for Branson. Has a Stalker coming out. More Marines streaming up. Just uh, a factory going down now and a command center. So Hashmalu just expanding behind this pressure. Uh, very good. Marines back up in the base, killing the sentry. Looks like they could very well get this Stalker. He could focus down those Marines, though. And 
Yeah, it's warping in three stalkers. They will be able to clean this up easily. Good job keeping the weakened stalker in the back. Basically going to be able to... Yep, they should be able to two-shot that marine. And here, yeah, we see Hashmalu pulling back all these straggling marines. Going to build some bunkers in the event of a counter, which I can't imagine coming. And Branson going to throw down the Nexus for the Expand. Warping in three sentries right off the bat here. And perhaps he is going to counter. No, he is going to counter with Stalkers. <coughs> Maybe he's just going to scout. Which would probably be wise. He does not have the units to counter. Oh no, queuing in Diamond League. What is this? What is this, Branson? Please say it isn't so. Say it's not so. Get out of Dodge, bro. Get out of get out of there, Branson. What are you doing? Swim away, swim away. Yeah, man, get out of there. What are you doing? Just giving away two stalkers for free. Branson, bad boy. You are bad boy. Command center done for Hashmalu. Moving on out. Looks like he's dropping three more racks. He's got the tanks out. The siege research nearly complete. And as Branson's Nexus finishes and more sentries being warped in. You gotta, if you're gonna go this heavy on sentries, your force fielding has to be absolutely impeccable. I don't, we're gonna see a transfer of probes. He's re, he's re-rallying. Yeah, see, he's got... He could at least take five over and re-rally. Uh-oh, here comes an, an engagement. Oh, my goodness, Branson not even paying attention. And he... Now Hashmalu able to pull back, siege his tanks, and get in a, a good engage, engagement position. Uh, he's going to want to utilize some form of Guardian Shield to kind of... Uh, dampen what the tanks are doing. These are light, so they do not receive the extra damage from tanks. Very nice force fields. Oh, gonna cut them off. Excellent. Gonna kill some of these marines. Pull back. We do have mortals coming out. Again, queuing. You're a bad boy, Branson. Perhaps Branson is not a diamond player. Don't normally see that kind of queuing from a diamond. And we do our supply block as well, Branson. Oh, he's bringing out splash damage, doing a lot of damage to these light units. But it looks like he's going to clean this up. But he didn't even use a guardian shield. I don't agree with that. He should have at least used one. Losing lots of sentries. He lost like six or seven sentries there. Big, big money. Big, big losses. And this remaining tank and marines are going to run away. Uh, we take a look at the unit loss tab. Um, wow. Branson is slightly ahead. Not by a ton. And if we check out the workers killed, pretty even. <coughs> Pardon me. Branson doing much better on uh, worker production. Though, of course, the mule evens out any income differential that we might see at this stage, though with the 10 more, no, see there it is, mules <laughs> will push you ahead even if you're behind by 15 workers. The beauty of the mule. More gateways being worked in for the Protoss player, now a total of 6 plus the robotics bay. We're going to see some Colossus come out, so we have 6 gateways and a robo. <coughs> Forge, double forge. Wow, gonna be tough to double forge and Colossus. Um, I've done it, and it's hard if you're gonna try and produce from all six of your gateways and make any stalkers or sentries. As you can already see, he's already hurting for gas. He's gonna need this second geyser up immediately. 
uh, and probably even be thinking about a third if he wants to. At, he get he can get one one and be fine and still make a colossus. Um, but once he gets past one one, it's going to be too expensive for him to continue to make tech units and get upgrades. Uh, probably best to try and find himself a third base whether that's break down those rocks and get this third over here or over here and take the gold. Branson seeing everything that Hashmalu is doing well not everything because he's not moving around. He does see the starport making he doesn't know anything that's going on in the base so he doesn't know about all these racks that are just constantly pouring out units um, check out the production tab Thermal Lance about to complete. Another command center going down for Hashmalu. We're going to see that third come out. He hasn't broken down these rocks, so we'll have to wait and see where he's going to decide to put it. If it's going to be on the low ground or at the gold. Swapping off the starport, getting Vikings, so he must already know. Has he seen? How could he have seen? Did he, he doesn't know. He must be just assuming that Colossus are coming because he has not scouted out that robo bay. Dropping pylons, Branson dropping pylons around the map, very wise. Want to be able to warp in from anywhere. I like this block off in the tasteless secret hallway. And here we finally, the secret is out. The rocks are going down and the gold is being taken by Hashmalu. He does have an eBay. And so he will be able to make a planetary fortress right away. Zealot coming out. Going to take this tower away from this marine. Could have kited it all day long, but probably didn't want to waste the time. Gets the scan, kills the observer. Although I'm... I don't know. Out here... Something like that is curious because you're wasting a scan to get an observer. Why am I missing? I don't know. Judgment calls, judgment calls, all around judgment calls. And now we see that Branson is pretty gassed up, so he's getting all of his tech. He's getting uh, charge. He's getting plus one. He's going to be able to immediately get plus two, plus two, because he's got the gas for it. Uh, Hashmalu not wise to, to try and move in there and Branson also taking this third base. So this is turning into a, quite a nice macro game here. Check out the units tab again however um, we see that Branson has a pretty hefty lead in army size. We just look at the food he's up well too. Um, as we see Branson now going to move in he finished his upgrades, finished his charge. He's going to run in here and do a lot of damage. Planetary Fortress just now finishing. So we we'll see. Want to get a Guardian Shield up? Get a Guardian Shield up. Zealot's doing all kinds of damage, though. And I don't see... What? 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 There you go. Planetary Fortress goes down. Gonna kill off some more units. Chasing down some marines. Hashmalu trying to kite. Look at these uh, ghosts trying desperately to pick off some uh, some units. No EMPs. Were they not available? They did not have the energy for EMPs. That eats it. Oh, he just got it. That sucks. He just got... That's a weird scan. I guess he was looking for cloaked units or something. Um, wow. He's still 30, about 30 foot ahead, Branson. Um, reinforcing his army. Hashmalu going to try again to drop a command center at that gold. Not giving up on his attempts to get that economic lead. Colossus pouring out for Branson. He has not gotten his 2-2 upgrade yet, which, unless, my opinion, uh, we did see an EMP go off, so there's no more force fields. 
Uh, force fields did pretty good, but now they are keeping the tank from... The, were those guys not on auto repair? Hashmalu gives the GG, and he's going to leave the game. So, nice bit of gameage there from these two diamond players. Some interesting uh, queuing and things like that, but, you know, I'm not going to get... Can't get uh, on anybody's case for stuff like that. Uh, everybody does it once in a while. I certainly do. Uh, but good game. I think Branson uh, started off maybe a little bit behind, but kept fighting macro better than Hashmalu and was able to come out on top. So congratulations to him. Hope you enjoyed the game. And as always, until next time, keep climbing that ladder.